Okay, again, more color. I'm loving the green. Uh, this is uh, lower school science room. Um, and we didn't mention this in the other classrooms, but each classroom in the building has a new smart board with whiteboards on either side. Um, and then the, the hanging strips are for all the student artwork or projects that we're working on in each classroom. One of the design features that everybody loves is that both of the science rooms open to the outdoor space on the second floor. It allows for both learning in the classroom as well as outside. Oh, this space is looking great. This is the second floor rooftop outdoor space, which is primarily going to be used for lower middle school outdoor recreation time. This is one of the three occupational therapy and physical therapy spaces in the building. In the OTPT spaces, the ceilings are different. So the ceilings are a little bit higher. Uh, there's extra soundproofing, and we've exposed the I-beams for the equipment for therapy to be hung from. I'm loving the windows and the view. We're in the OTPT space for the upper school, and this is basically the center of the building on the back side. Uh, what you see here, this X, this cross is a truss system that was built and designed by the architects uh, for two purposes. One, it allowed us to have a full-size gymnasium without any support beams in it. So we have full floor-to-ceiling clearance. We made the investment in the building now for potential for expansion later. When Cook purchased the site for this building, there was a height restriction in our deed. We knew that from the very beginning and knew that we could fit our entire school into the 55,000 square feet. However, in the building process, we realized that there was a potential for that height restriction to be lifted later. So Cook wisely decided to build into the infrastructure the potential to expand one or two floors in the future. This would allow us uh, to save money by having to retrofit later. Our related service providers are all vital to teaching students essential skills, like how to communicate effectively, how to regulate their bodies, and how to develop friendships. Our new building helps us support the work of these therapists through a variety of spaces. So whether it's group therapy, small group therapy, or one-to-one -one sessions, or meetings with parents, our related service providers have the necessary space. Okay, this is the first time I've seen the millwork in here and the appliances. So I mentioned downstairs in the cafeteria that we were gonna have six teaching kitchens. We have two downstairs, there's three more in this space. Uh, those will be the ranges, there's dishwashers, but one of the things that we've never had before for our adaptive skills lessons is we've never actually had a deli living lab apartment. This is Cook's very first deli living lab apartment. A little hard to tell right now as the uh, dryer sitting in the middle of the room, but this will have a full kitchen, a full living room, a full bedroom, and then behind us is the washer, dryer, and a full bathroom with a shower. Again, this actually has more square footage than some of our New York apartments. We can teach individuals or small groups of students in this attached classroom space just off the apartment and just off the deli living labs, while also teaching a separate group in this new deli living lab model apartment. This is Cook's first dedicated classroom for yoga that will serve our K through 12 students. It's really incredible and the floor is great. Uh, just taking in the view, uh, it's amazing that we have trees on three sides of the building and there's actually a small park that's shared with the community behind the building and then Madison Avenue is on the front. So it's amazing green space. Well, I'll show you more from the rooftop. This is one of the two stairwells in the building. This one's dedicated to the lower middle school. You can see as you come up the stairwell from the street level all the way to the fifth story rooftop space, there are windows throughout. The windows in the tower allow natural light not only into the stairwells, but they also flow all the way through into every hallway on each of the stories. Each one is, has this glass door with a wall of glass allowing natural light to flow into the hallways where the lockers and restrooms are. And then at the very top, there's a skylight. I'll show you. <laughs> wow. Okay. Look at this play space. This is practically a full-size soccer field. Crazy. The fencing and netting is all required by city code so that we are allowed to have balls up here and we're able to play. It's supposed to be unclimbable fence. 
This is actually the first time I've seen these in place. These are a, a rubber tile that are actually have multiple layers underneath to allow for the drainage. There's a very sophisticated water system as part of our environmentally friendly system that holds water that runs off the roof. And this is the pergola. This is the first time I've seen this as well. It's actually fantastic. Uh, plan to have some outdoor seating, maybe grow some plants from science class uh, up the trellis. It really is beautiful and will be provide some nice shade along the way. So this outdoor rooftop space will be an amazing opportunity for outdoor playtime, classrooms that need to get some outdoor space without having to venture out of the building, still have a safe space to go. But it also is a good place to illustrate, I mentioned the two towers. Here's where the top of the lower middle school dedicated staircase is. And then on this side, you see the upper school dedicated staircase. And then in the very middle that separates the whole building, separates both towers, is the elevator. Allows us to go from the lower level all the way up to the fifth story rooftop. Here we are in the middle of Manhattan and we have trees surrounding our school. It's like living in the treetops up here. It's really amazing.